Hello everyone, this is Aqua here, also known as Mike, and welcome to the 10th episode in this Calamity 1.5 series. Last time I killed Plantera, and that means that a bunch of new stuff is unlocked now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend a decent amount of time just getting that new stuff. <laughs> so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get the new Reaver armor. Because it was reworked a bit, actually quite a bit, and now it's like, uh, there's a building set... There's a movement speed set, and there's a tank set. I'm gonna try and get a tank one. But yeah, since perennial ore spawns in the jungle, I'm gonna be off to go there now. Also wait, does perennial ore actually not spawn in the jungle? I think that was like changed at some point. It might just spawn underground and that's all. Yeah, it spawns uh, just underground, okay. What is this shit, dude? Oh, whatever, dude. How many bars can I make? So, that's a pretty good amount. I I have just enough to make a full set of armor, huh? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Let's make it. Never mind, am I short on stuff for the pants? Oh, I'm short on jungle spores. Alright, I should have uh, all the stuff that I need to make the rest of the armor. Also, I managed to fill up my health bar with life fruit, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, here's the pants. Now I just put it all on. So yeah, now I'm a giga tank, and I'm probably pretty unkillable. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe I shouldn't say that, but like, you, you know, it's gonna be pretty damn hard to kill me. Because I am an absolute unit right now. Alright, well, what now? So, there's two bosses available, there's Sinal Vithan, and there's also Astrum Aureus. Which one should I do first? I have zero clue. I could try Aureus, I don't think he'd be too hard to summon. Yeah, it's just 30 Stardust and 20 Stars? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and make the Aureus summon. And then once once I have him, I can just summon him in the Astral Infection over here, and then bring him over to my arena. Wait. Does Reaver Armor give me lifesteal too? Oh my god, yeah, I'm, I'm really just unkillable, huh? Granted, I don't deal as much damage anymore, but like... Small price to pay to be an ultimate tank. Alright, so I should have a good amount of Stardust now to make the summon. Ow. Yeah, time to head home. And there we go, Astral Chunk.
uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, that was a pretty, uh, easy fight. Because <laughs> I am, uh, near unkillable at the cost of, you know, my damage being kind of shitty now. So. I didn't get much from the treasure bag, although, one nice thing I got is a adrenaline upgrade. But yeah, uh, his range drop isn't the best, although I know there's like some astral infection enemies that now drop some items. And again, I don't remember them being the best, so I'm just gonna stick with what I have right now. So, next up is go into the ocean and building an arena there for Siren and Leviathan. Or, I guess it's Anahita now, right? I'm just so used to saying Siren and Leviathan, it just seems like a such a natural thing to say now, you know? Alright, there we go. Now just to wait for the uh, boss to spawn. <laughs> there we go, where are they? Here we are.
And there we go. That is Silent Leviathan down. <laughs> ah, it feels nice to finally get, you know, two bosses down in one episode at least again. Huh. I think going tank really was the play here. Like, my stuff isn't even all, like, reforged to warding. This stuff could be ridiculous if it was warding. If I was all warding, I would be unkillable. <laughs> but yeah, what did I get? Uh, I didn't get the ranger weapon. Sucks to suck. Uh, point is, I killed them. I, uh... Don't know what else to say. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was a pretty fun fight. I, I tend to really suck at the Silent Leviathan fight, so yeah. Uh, going tank was... Obviously, the play. <laughs> now, what's next? Uh, nothing else than a golem. Good ol' golem. Yeah. He's, he's not that hard. Only thing is that I haven't found the temple, so it's gonna suck to find it. But once I do... Uh... I, I guess, more progression. Yeah. <laughs>
Finally! Holy shit. That was a close one, actually. I... I didn't expect Gollum to actually be that hard, you know? But, because I made the right preparations, I got the right potions, I came out of it victorious. Oh. Here we go. Pretty sure Calamity guarantees you a pick saw on your first kill, which is nice. So I'll take this altar, and take these candles, because they're expensive, and I'm never coming back here again. Alright, so, with all that done, I'm gonna go to the Abyss, and they mind a special ore there, because uh, the armor you can make out of that ore is really good, and it's really easy to just get a lot of that ore. Alright, uh, I think 500 ore is going to be definitely enough to craft whatever I want to. So let's just smelt it all down. Here we go. Yeah. So what should I craft with it? Hellstorm is a weapon that I could make. Also, I should make the armor and the wings. Yeah. Oh wait, what? Does the armor take something extra? Yeah, right, it takes cores of chaos and hellstone. So I'm just gonna get some hellstone first, and then I'll have to venture to- Ah, my god. Then I'll have to venture to the dungeon to get some more specter stuff. Ow, dude. Um, I think I got, well, enough ectoplasm for now, though I don't need that much to make the armor itself, although, of course I'll need more for later. <laughs> now I should be able to craft the armor. Yeah. There's the pants, ranged helmet, and the breastplate. So now I'm out of hyper tank armor and back into um, dealing normal damage again. Hooray! Yeah, looks like that has quite a bit of potential. Also, the homing shots from the hydrothermic are pretty nice as well. But yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Finally got to kill three bosses in one episode again. And next time, I have all of Post Gollum, which also has a lot of stuff to do, just like Post Plantera. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.